I was quoted uh, in the Daily News, I guess it was, uh, last week, saying that yes, in fact, we would chain ourselves to the bar, which is why we installed the chain. And um, the Empire State Development Corporation's response was, well, if that's true, then we're going to send this, this send the sheriff, we're going to send the marshal. And uh, so we figured maybe it's time to come up with some sort of a response to that, since we seem to be going tit for tat here. So I, I feel like I got two responses. One of them, so I'm getting really sort of tired of the of the, uh, the animosity between us and Ratner, and I really think we should try to work something out. You know? um, <laughs> no, really, you know. It's a very awesome moment. And, and I think that you know, we should just kind of chill out and wait and see. Um, you know, who goes to jail here, actually? Uh, <laughs> he's, uh, he's up on some charges here. And I think we should just sort of see who goes to jail. And if we both go to jail, then maybe we can get in the same cell, and maybe we can become uh, special uh, friends. <laughs> <laughs> and also, in, in my other response to them coming, in, before they do to you. them coming to uh, take the bar from us, is this. Yes. <laughs> More frosty cold dead here. And for, uh, for the uh, Russian gentleman, we have it in Russian. <laughs> so, they're free. Um, I'm going to throw some of those down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pass them around. I want a Russian one. <laughs> <laughs> who wants Russian? Who wants English? Oh, you want to if you got a Russian one, man. And uh, since it was the uh, state agency issued this threat on behalf of Barclays Bank, as far as I can, I understand Barclays Bank doesn't even have a bank in this country, so I wonder why they're spending all this money to come over here. I wonder who's sleeping with who, that they want to do that. So it's basically England and Russia. Um, very strange stuff. And, and the best synopsis, not synopsis of this, is in the uh, this article that uh, George Will had in the Washington Post this last week. Tremendous article. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. And we're going to have a reading of that in a moment. Um, and basically, our, our desires in this whole thing are threefold. We want to support and save this neighborhood from corrupt overdevelopment. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> We want to save this, forgive me, fucking astounding bar from an early demise. <laughs> and we want to change the law that, that, that allows this to even be possible. Yeah. 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 And on, on behalf of all of this, because what we'd like to do, we want, we want to sort of do an, an, a call out to, to everybody, to, to all the bars, and especially some bars all the great pubs over in England to like pull their damn money out of Barclays Bank. Uh, and we're asking for everybody, you know, to, to basically contact their local representatives about the misuse or thievery of the concept of eminent domain. And we're going to do this tomorrow morning on a, a show called Fox and Friends. For some reason, they're actually going to entertain us. We've got like a 10 minute on couch interview. Oh, it's apparently the most uh, watched show in America between 6 and 10 in the morning. I wouldn't know, but that's apparently the case. Uh, it's a new so, world. We're toasting George Will, and we're going on. Yes. I know, right? No. <laughs> it's going to be sick. Yeah. Yeah. It's, good to be, it's good to be right for a change. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Shit ain't right. <laughs>